Ho 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 everyone and welcome back to LM Simulation here on YouTube. I'd like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas 2021 to everyone. Hope everyone is going to have a wonderful uh, wonderful Christmas time, uh, festive period and uh, always into the new year as we enter 2022. It's been a quite a drastic year but I'm hoping that, uh, that all the positive things can come out and that uh, we can look forward to a very prosperous 2022 all being well as we... Uh, wrap a hold of the virus even more so. Anyway, uh, in this video today we're going to be exploring the island line. This is an, uh, a line that I've been wanting to explore for quite a while here on uh, LM Simulation. Uh, I've been promising it for quite a while and here it is. A very festive version of the island line. It is snowing of course but I had to do that. Uh, some beautiful gorgeous sort of winter conditions here at Shanklin. We're going to be taking this train all the way up to uh, Ride here Head and I'm going to be doing a full review this is of the Island Line here in Train Simulator 20. Uh, Train Sim World, sorry, <laughs> I'm always in Train Simulator. This is Train Sim World 2. Um, and this is, I believe this DLC is currently uh, reduced. Um, it is the Steam sales at the moment. I urge you to get this DLC if you haven't got it. Uh, it's a wonderful way to explore the 1938 stock as it is here in, uh, in Train Sim World 2. Unfortunately, in real life, these trains have now been retired. There's no longer any way to ride these anymore. Uh, I was fortunate enough and managed to ride them in real life, but um, yeah, they've been replaced by uh, more modern converted D-stock trains by uh, Viva Rail. Uh, so now they're operating Class 484s, essentially. Uh, do go ride them, though. They're quite fun, and they are still part of history in a way. So Anyway, here we are. This is the gorgeous Shanklin station here. I do apologise about some of the graphics. They do get better as you walk up to them. I think the um, ice cream stand is a bit too much at this time of year, don't you think? But uh, yeah, some beautiful gorgeous conditions, snowy conditions here in, in Shanklin. Right, so this is the 1451. Is it the 1451? I think it is. <coughs> Departure over through to Ride Pier Head. We're going to take charge of this service, so essentially... Uh, we're effectively cold and dark at the moment, so I'm just going to open the door here and uh, climb on in using the E key uh, and then close the door because it is quite cold today. Turn the F1 on so that we know where we're looking and uh, what we're doing today. Uh, first thing we want to do is turn the master key in and the master key lever needs to go to on. Uh, put the seat down and we're going to sit down in the engineer's seat. There we go, yep, 2 Delta 4 zero. that's the one we're working today, wonderful. So I've got a couple of minutes, as you can see. Uh, timed it quite well on this run, to be honest. So uh, I'm going to turn the instrument lights on with the I key. Uh, first of all, put the reverser key in and headlights are on. There we go. Lovely. So we've got some headlights as well. We don't need to do much at the moment. I know we're on EP Max, so I'm just going to take us back to EP Normal. Uh, and then marvel at this glorious train. Um, and I'll just be able to, to showcase what it is like. doesn't like you uh, going back onto the platform there. But here we go, all cold and dark, here we are in the uh, class 483. I've got to turn on some of the uh, interior lights. So where are they? Instrument lights, headlight, cab light, ox trip, uh, door cutting, overload reset. There, no sign of the interior lights there. Are they in here? Couple control, traction control, headlight, berthing light. Berthing light, that's interesting. Uh, no sign of the interior lights, I do need to switch them on. Um, it's been a while since I've driven this train, so do bear with me while I just make sure we've got everything. So we've got the instrument lights on, cab lights can come on because it is a bit dark at the moment. Um, door lock, cold start, all of that jazz. Um, yeah, interesting. No, no ability to turn the interior lights on unless it's one of these. It doesn't look to be. That is interesting. Okay, maybe they will. Uh, Come alive in their own time. Perhaps who knows? That's the uh, that's the handbrake. We don't need to do anything with that at the moment. Oh well, sorry guys, you're gonna have to sit in the dark. It's your fault. <laughs> right, unlock the doors. Uh, oh gosh, unlock the doors. Control tab and unlock right is the way I'm gonna be doing it. There we go. I'm gonna turn the cab light off now because there's no need really to have it on um, this time of day. We should be okay. Um, let's have a look outside because that's what we were going to do. We can do it using this door. There we go. Right here, head. Looking good indeed. Definitely. I'm not going to get a screenshot just yet. Um, I'm going to get a screenshot when we get to the uh, to the end of the route. So I'm just going to show you the route map though if I climb up here. 
so this is the Isle of Wight route map. We are here in Shankin. It's only a short line, uh, but it still does take you about 25 minutes, something like that, to do the whole line. Um, 20 minutes, something like that. Uh, we're going to be calling it Lake Sandown Braiding, Small Brook. Uh, Rye St John's Road, Rye Esplanade and Rye Pier Head. Now I'm not sure if we're going to be calling it Smallbrook Junction. Um, it's one of those stations that's open only at certain times of the year and that's only because the only way out of Smallbrook Junction is to go onto the Isle of Wight Steam Railway which at this time of year might be open for some Christmas specials, might be not. Anyway, let's get back into the train. I'll have the interior lights come on now. Oh they must do it their own way. As you can see beautiful interior here that you can sit down on the old moquette here of the uh, London Underground that is a Jeff Tech sort of thing Jeff Marshall would be loving this to death I can tell you that look at that absolutely ph phenomenal and you've got uh, different sort of uh, different bits and bobs here so we're here at Shanklin which has car park taxis and the town centre then you go on to the lake which is six minute walk to the village centre Sandown is car park taxis and a 10 minute walk to the town centre. Braiding is a 5 minute walk to the old town which has intriguing tourist attractions and places of interest. Smallbrook Junction, change train for the Isle of Wight Steam Railway as I said. Uh, it's right St John's Road, well the only thing there is a car park. Um, Ride Esplanade is a bus station, coaches, taxis, hovercraft services to Southie, town centre, seafront and beach. Tourist information only April to October. And Ride Pierhead for services to Ports of Harbour which is uh, by boat. Anyway, let's get these doors shut and get underway. Before we delay these passengers even more. There we go. Lovely. Let's put it into. Uh, we need to put it into it forward. One. Release the brake and get going. Here we go. So, welcome to the. Uh, welcome to the class 483. Quite an old unit, definitely. In fact, this is a World War II unit, so that is how old this is. There you go. Sounds getting quite loud now. Anyway, you want to hear the whistle? Here we go. There we go. So, just want to turn the uh, wipers on whilst we've got a bit of snow. Some glorious weather, though, here at the moment. As we uh, make our way to our next station calling point, which is Lake. Let's turn off the uh, thing and have a look on the outside. This is a very, very picturesque line. Oh dear, I've left the door open. Oh, oh no, it's going to be cold in here. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, an incredibly picturesque line, this. Uh, if you've ever done it yourself, you'll realise how gorgeous it is. And I've never done it in the snow like this. It'd be lovely if I could. Um, but I, I am going to go back sometime. Uh, I don't have any plans next year, but I um, might be able to fit something in if I'm lucky. So... I don't think we need these wipers on, I'm going to be incredibly honest. Um, put them on park. Right, now we're, uh, now we're rocking and rolling. Getting on our way here. Right, so, it's Christmas time and I've been thoroughly enjoying Trains in World 2 and uh, everything that's currently in the game. It is the Steam sales at the moment, I've managed to get a few bits of DLC, uh, so some of the stuff that you can be looking forward to for next year. Uh, I've got the Class 313, which is I'm going to be doing a video on in January. Looking forward to that, that is going to be fantastic, the Class 313. Uh, we're going to be doing that on the East Coast Way. Um, we've also got some of the Rush Hour stuff, which is going to be a bit more imminent, Im imminent. So the Rush Hour stuff is going to be very, very soon, don't worry about that. So I'm planning to do that for the new year. Uh, yeah, and uh, and some American routes as well, Peninsula Corridor for one. Anyway, here we go. So this is Lake, this is what this station is, just outside of uh, Sandown, not far. There we go, let's open the doors. We're about 30 seconds late, not doing too badly, that's alright, let's have a look from the outside. Very sunny indeed, but very snowy at the same time. I think this network southeast livery, it are, oh, it looks gorgeous in the snow. It really does. Look at that. That is that is one hell of a view. I can tell you that. Let's get the festive feeling underway as we uh, load passengers here at uh, Lake. Our next station calling point will be Sandown.
to look at the view. I mean, it's a lovely little unit. I think it's really cute. I really do. I think it's, uh, it's magical that you can, uh, well, you used to be able to travel on a line with this sort of unit. Very outdated, I must admit. You're not going to get your telephone charging sockets and stuff like that, and your free Wi-Fi on a train like this. But you'll be, you'll be lucky to get a heater. <laughs> but that is how people used to, um, used to conduct their business. So, credit where credit's due. Anyway, next stop will be Sandown. We're on a red signal at the moment. Now, I believe there's a bit of a loop at Sandown to allow for other trains to come down and uh, head into Braiding and form the next service, but. Uh, I think it's an hourly service at the moment on this line, and uh, there's no plans to increase that. There were plans to increase that, but nothing has it uh, anytime soon. Oh, yeah, we're going to be massively speeding here as we head into Sandown. So this route is very fun to drive, I can tell you that, and it's uh, thoroughly enjoyable. Um, my uh, my Twitch livestream that will have already have, uh, shown by the time that you watch this video uh, will have a, a sort of a snowstorm in it, so uh, you can see the wonders of the Isle of Wight Steam Railway in a snowstorm. There we go, unlock on the left. Here we are. So this is Sandown in the uh, in the glorious snow. I must admit, a little bit windy as, as well, which you can expect on the island. But everything's white and it just looks gorgeous. I I think snow being a very bad thing for driving for for many different things. Trains don't run and stuff like that. In fact, you're lucky that this train's running in this snow. Um, but stuff like that, you know, it's bad. But the plus side to snow is it's gorgeous. It just makes everything look so much better. I mean, cities in the snow are what you live for. I can tell you that. All right, we need to set the brakes off. That might help. We've got a 15 mile an hour speed limit, so. Yeah, it sort of bursts into life, this train. Out of nowhere. Right, into the cab. We are speeding a little bit, so I'll get us down. I presume because that's where we're going downhill, so... I'll have to keep an eye on that speed. Keep it regulated well. So that's Sandown. Our next stop will be Braiding. I think Braiding is going to be our final stop before we get to Ride. Um, so it's not a huge line, as you'll notice. Uh, this is all that's left of the Isle of Wight Railway. There used to be a lot more to the... Uh, to the main Isle of Wight Railway, uh, but unfortunately there were a lot of cuts, you see cutbacks in uh, the main routes to Newport, Great Yarmouth, Cowles, all of that were cut away unfortunately. That being said, Terry is still plot along on the, uh, on the old Isle of Wight Steam Railway, worth doing, that goes from Haven Street over to Wootton and over to Smallbrook Junction as well. I used to be a member of the Isle of Wight Steam Railway because I had family over there. I used to attend their annual general meetings as well. Which is very fun. I, I just, it was, it was amazing being part of a railway, you know, and, and learning where the funds are going and what you're investing in when you become a member. I just, it's so much joy out of knowing that I'm contributing to something amazing. And I would, uh, I would become a member again now if I could. Uh, in fact, I am having thoughts about becoming a member of a, uh, a heritage railway near me, actually. So uh, thoughts are going through my head. I'd like to contribute my time to doing good. Anyway, it's Christmas, so lots to be had, lots to be said, lots to enjoy. This is a wonderful bit of DLC. Now, I haven't just got this because of Christmas. I've uh, had this DLC for quite a while. I don't play it that often because it's after a, after a long time it can get monotonous, monotonous um, going back and forth, back and forth. But it's a very enjoyable run, and I I would I would trade it for the world. I love it. <clears throat> You'll see when we get to the sea how 
how sort of fun this route can get, I can tell you about that. It's not the highest of speeds, uh, but it is quite nice to just sort of weave in and out of the beautiful scenery here in uh, here on the Isle of Wight. Um, but I do urge you, if you've never been on the Isle of Wight Steam Railway, give it a go. Um, not just the Isle of Wight Steam Railway, but the, the island line itself. Uh, they are back operating again, and I, um, I'm on a mission now to uh, try out those new D-trains. It'd be nice to do so, I can tell you that. <coughs> so here we go, this is braiding. We're actually a little bit early. really early. So braiding here uh, used to have an old platform over there. Uh, that's actually now been reinstated I believe uh, as a passing loop for trains to allow a half hourly service to commence on the island line. What on earth was that sound? Um, yeah anyway so uh, this, is, uh, this is braiding. Let's go and explore the platform a little bit. Very nice indeed. Hello, guys. Yeah, so we're driving 483 004, as you can see. Nice sort of winter edition of the class 483. It just looks gorgeous, though, I must admit. And the, the scenery around the station, the heritage sort of southern railway infrastructure here. Oh, honestly, it is gorgeous. And if you have a look from above as well, it just looks just as good from above. I mean, look at that. Isn't that a view, eh? A class 483 here at Braiding. So essentially what they've done with the line now is as you can see you can see where the line sort of goes this is the old platform they've actually now reinstated it they've got they've had to introduce a junction here which goes into here into here and back out to here trains will wait into here and there will be a half hour interval for trains eventually uh, the plan was to actually have that by now but uh, I think they're running late with that plan at the moment which is uh, unfortunate. Let's get back on and uh, back in the driver's seat, or the engineer's seat as it likes to call it. Back on the way to the next stop on this service will be Smallbridge Junction. Oh, we are stopping there. Must be, uh, must be something going on on the Island White Steam Railway. So it's got that typical 19 sort of 30s feel to it. Um, if you start trying to apply power, it, it's a bit jumpy. I must admit, I think it's the best way to put it. Jumpy is a good word. But, uh, but yeah, it is very, very fun to drive, I must admit. I, I don't get this much enjoyment out of other trains in Trains of the World. Just trying to make us and uh, keep us up to speed. Yeah, so the uh, steam sale is underway. It's running all the way into January. Um, mm, there's loads and loads of stuff that's been discounted, and I'm probably going to get a few more bits actually because uh, I've had my bonus from work, and uh, there's pretty much nothing to spend it on apart from maybe a rail tour or two next year. I'm looking to do my first ever mainline rail tour. Uh, I've done one before with GBRF, but I've never really done a mainline rail tour as such, like actually go ahead and book one. The GBRF one that I did was actually uh, just a service train actually, rather than it was just operated, happened to be by Class 73's and Mark 1's. Um, it wasn't like a proper sort of rail tour train. Um, so I'm looking to book with Locomotive Services Limited, who are doing some very, very, uh, very, very good rail tours next year, operated um, by their intercity stock. Um, there's one with a Class 86, uh, 86101 that's meant to be hauled, and I've never had an 86, I've never had haulage by an 86, so I might be looking to do that next year, I'll have to double check the dates, but uh, I'm, I'm looking to do something with LSL next year eventually, and I've got the money to do it, so I just need to go ahead and book it, look forward to uh, getting my first rail tour in first class, that'd be nice. And they do some very competitive rates, £120, um, which for a rail tour standard is cheap as chips, honest to god. Rail tours are usually quite expensive. Um, you're talking about at least 150, 160 pounds. So to get it for 120, um, so that's only a, a month's saving really at work. 
So yeah, um, <laughs> looking forward to doing a bit more on the old railways and in, in real life as well. So, but there's so much more for this channel to to explore for next year. Doing a huge amount of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator stuff I'm planning next year. So, um, those of you that are looking forward to getting back into the air, don't worry. There will be loads more of that where that came from. Don't worry about that. I realise we're going ridiculously slow. Going uphill. Well, we're still running to time, so we're doing quite well. So, if you haven't got this DLC already, uh, my honest review is it's just gorgeous. Uh, the scenery is gorgeous, the way it's been put together. Um, the only thing I don't like about it, and it's the only negative, which is probably going to knock it down to a 9 out of 10 for me is the fact that um, some of the signs they're low res until you get close to them I don't know whether that's an issue with the game or something like that but I've got my graphics settings knocked up to max and there is no need to have something like that on the graphics card that I'm running um, that's the only negative really um, and then it isn't longer uh, <laughs> probably the only other negative but then again I can't complain about that because uh, this is how it is in real life so Anyway, here we go. Let's do an exterior view as we slow down for uh, Smallbrook Junction, which is our next station calling point. You can see how the snow is sort of settling on the side of the train. Very nice indeed. We get to 200 yards, that's when I start to put the brake on. Oh no, completely overcooked it. Yeah, completely overcooked that, haven't I? Yeah, there's no way we're stopping for that. God knows what's happening with the brake. Okay, well, we're going to do something you shouldn't do in real life, kids, uh, and that is reverse. Right, don't do this in real life, kids. There we go, here's the small platform here at Smallbrook Junction. There we go, unlock on the left. Right, so uh, good job, uh, get back into the cab, don't worry about anything else. Oh, are you guys waiting for a train maybe to go to uh, the other direction? Oh, there's some people. Right, so Smallbrook Junction has two platforms, one on the main line and one on here on the Isle of Wight Steam Railway with a runaround loop for the locomotive to detach here and then runs round the train and attaches on the other end just like how they used to in the old days. I wish the Isle of Wight Steam Railway was included. It would be lovely to be able to go down to Wootton in that direction. <coughs> uh, I um, That's probably the only other thing about this route that it doesn't have, is the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. That would be nice. Oh, I've got it in the wrong power mode, haven't I? Here we go. Nice. Tell you what, that thing picks up speed quickly. So we're on a 30 and now we've got a 45. As long as we go to uh, Rye St John's Road. Very nice. We'll do there very soon. We're just outside of Ride. Small Junction and Ride are very close to each other, so. should be at Ride St John's Road very soon and uh, I'll let you have your own assumptions about the quality of this route um, for me it's bang on the mark I couldn't ask for anything more I think Trains and World has just been getting better and better um, I believe this even has um, a working PIS system but I think that's a modification 
there is a modification available on the uh, Alan Thompson website that gives you a working hovercraft, and I think it also gives you a working PIS system as well. Um, I will link that in the description if I can find it, because uh, I believe that mod I have got installed, um, which is what's giving me the uh, the ability to um, to have that. When you'll notice that when we get closer to that, I just forgot about it. <laughs> forget about most modifications I have installed, so. Alright, here we go. There's a Southern Vectis bus. Now, Southern Vectis are the uh, the bus company of the Isle of Wight. Uh, just there on the right-hand side, you have Rye St. John's Road Depot that we're going to have a look at very briefly while we're here. We've got a smart card reader there on the platform. Ah, some AI. we are waiting for that. I know it's not a uh, regular service here on the on the island, but let's get going. So this is Ride St John's Road. Beautiful semaphore signals. The sun's now peering through. And there we go, that's Ride St John's Road Depot over there as well. Uh, looking very nice indeed. Um, all full of class 484s and stuff like that now, but uh, yeah. That's the main depot of the uh, Island Line. Also got that bus over there, Southern Vectis. I've got a model of a Southern Vectis bus, a double decker Southern Vectis bus, uh, in, in my flat here. So uh, yeah, the Isle of Wight still holds a uh, special place in my heart. Any childhood memories were made there. Anyway, let's uh, lock the doors. There we go, we've got a green. There goes the other one. So we're clear to proceed all the way up to uh, Ride Pier Head. Our next stop is Ride Esplanade. So Ride St John's Road is not really for the town centre, it's just a, a sort of an outskirt station um, for many of the suburbs of Ride. If you want one for the town centre, I always advise you to go to Ride Esplanade, uh, or Esplanade, however you want to call it. Uh, there's the Southern Vectis Depot here at uh, Ride St John's Road. Um, that, that had an open day, actually, uh, when I last came over to the island many years ago. There was a transport festival going on at the Isle of Wight Steam Railway over at Haven Street. Um, and they had some heritage buses running from there. And uh, I, re I remember getting on one of the heritage buses there at Ride, going all the way to Haven Street. Um, and we actually, um, the bus driver turned down the wrong road and we actually couldn't proceed because the bus couldn't fit, un fit under the bridge for the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. So, uh, karma uh, caught a bit up there. Um, so, um, that was probably the funniest experience I've ever had because um, the, driver, the driver said he distinctly remembers that bridge not being there this morning. Um, <laughs> But the Isle of Wight Steam Railway has been there for many, many years, so I'm not too sure. <laughs> Certainly an interesting situation, but um, yeah. Uh, whenever they do the Isle of Wight Transport Festival and stuff like that, uh, they do run some uh, courtesy buses, um, usually from the Ride St John's Road depot there. So um, I was staying at a hotel here at Ride Esplanade, uh, the same hotel that's now hosting the rail cams, um, and then I sort of got on the train and went to ride. Uh, St John's Road, got on the bus, got lost, and then ended up at the Transport Festival about an hour late because <laughs> the bus got lost. Anyway, it was uh, it was a lovely day. I managed to see some falcons in flight as well, which was beautiful. So, um, yeah, altogether, this this place holds hold fond memories for me. Um, many childhood memories. I had family living over here that no longer live over here, over here on the island, um, but it was it was lovely while I I was able to go over. Never went over in winter. Point. Winters over there were always quite harsh for some reason. Because you're next to the sea, you see, so it was always a bit, a bit chilly. Anyway, so this is Ride Esplanade. Um, Esplanade. I'll show you the main attraction in a moment. So we should have. Well, do we not have a platform information system? We don't. Okay, that's interesting. So I don't know whether I need to reinstall that mod. Or maybe there's been an update and it's uh, disengaged, but yeah, we'll have to reinstall that because that'll mean the uh, the hovercraft isn't working either. So um, 
on the basis that that mod isn't working correctly, I'm not going to link it. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, um, there's meant to be sort of destinations listed here and what, what time trains and stuff. A lot of that is controlled by Dovetail Games, but um, some guys actually modded it so that it works fully in, in the actual game. Um, unfortunately, though, as you as you can see, it's not working in this version. Uh, Dovetail Games haven't actually updated that, so um, that's something they need to get around to doing. Uh, but there is a third-party mod that makes it work. Anyway, so here we are on the island. If I uh, go over here and uh, open the window, I open the door. Close the window. Oh, is it going to let me? There you go. Lock the doors. And now just head up the uh, Ride Esplanade. Head up the pier to Ride Pier Head. So here you go. This is where the. Um, this over here is where the hovercrafts pull into. And then you've got the hotels over here, one of which I've stayed in. Very funny sounds as the uh, train heads up the uh, pier. 20 mile an hour speed limit. Uh, now this here is not an old train track, but it used to be uh, an old tramway that used to be uh, in function here on the Isle of Wight. Uh, unfortunately it no longer operates, but uh, still lovely to see. And I'm going to take a photo for our screenshot. I think that uh, perfectly describes the Isle of Wight Steam Railway, that screenshot there. Anyway, so in terms of uh, quality and everything, everything put together, um, this is a 9 out of 10 route. It is gorgeous. The only things that need improving are minor things like the water graphics, uh, which definitely need some work doing on. Um, only other minor things like getting the CIS system working, maybe having uh, a few extra trains, maybe being a bit longer, having the steam railway added to it, stuff like that, very minor things and things that don't really make that much of a difference. So this is a 9 out of 10 game, a 9 out of 10 route, I thoroughly recommend you to get it, especially now it's discounted in the steam sales at the moment during Christmas. Um, and it's been an extremely fun run taking you all the way up to the pier head here. So, there we go. I'm going to get the uh, doors unlocked. And that is us done. Welcome to uh, Ride Pier Head. So just uh, just beyond these uh, little sort of um, station building there, you've actually got a... Um, uh, you've actually got the, the sort of the uh, White Link Ferry um, catamaran that takes you over to... Uh, takes you over directly over to Portsmouth um, Harbour and that directly connects with the trains themselves. Um, you've actually got quite a nice sort of station here as you can see, quite a picturesque station. Um, I used to sit, uh, my grandma used to drive up the ride pier heads and she used to park her car here, one of these bays here, and we just used to sit here for hours on end in the afternoon uh, during the summer months because the, uh, the cruise ships, this is the closest point they pass to the island. Um, so you can get photos of the cruise ships sort of as they go along uh, the seafront here, uh, and it was ah, oh, it was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, and I have many fond memories there. Anyway, so this is the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. Um, I'm extremely happy to to have brought it to you and uh, have shown you exactly what there is to offer with this wonderful bit of DLC. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be back very very soon with my next video. There is no sort of timetable. Uh, because Christmas is here and anything can happen, but I should be back for the new year uh, with a brand new uh, video, hopefully on Trains and Worlds Rush Hour, uh, which we will be exploring very, very soon. Um, anyway, for now, have a wonderful rest of your, uh, your day, Christmas. I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas. For me, from the bottom of my heart, out to all of you guys, thank you for all of your support over 2021. Um, I can't wait to see what 2022 brings. Um, and I just wish everyone a very Merry Christmas in the meantime. I hope you all get the presents that you deserve after having such a difficult year this year. I, I love you all. You've all been really, really good. So um, I will see you in the next video here on LM Simulation. Uh, all the details will be in the description below. So all the best, and I'll take care, and uh, we will see you in the next video here on LM Simulation. All the best, take care, and ta -ra.